So, would you like to create animated videos in Canva and do this totally for free? So first of all, what I need to do is to sign into my Canva account. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Once you are directly here into Canva, I'm going to hit into this section and focus into creating an actual new design. So creating animations is going to be a little bit tricky. If you wanted to animate a full video, you can add slides, we can add effects, we can add short animations, transitions. But if you wanted to make full real animation for a character or to do uh, something related for 3D animation, Canva can do less stuff. But still, what we wanted to do is to make sure that we covered the basic here into Canva. So what I wanted to do is to focus here into what we'll be designing today. Let's go into videos and here into videos, I go here where it says create blank. Now here, what you can do is to choose a template. So into the left part, what you can do is to choose the option that says the design. Here into design, Canva offers a variety of video templates. So browse through the options and select one that fits your product name. So you can also search the, uh, here into the search bar, you can also find templates specifically for your needs. So you can customize every element of the template to fit your style. So assuming, for example, that I needed to go for animation of, I don't know, maybe like elementary school. I have all of these templates that I can just use. And if I select one template, you can see that the animations of this videos automatically appears in here. This is the kind of animation that Canva can provide to you. If you wanted to add more different animations, for example, for um, different elements, let's say, for example, that I go for balloon and I choose this balloon and I wanted to animate this balloon into Canva. So into the upper side, you can see that we have the exception, of course, that says animate here into animate. I have it here into the lip hot basic animation that we can use. So we have, for example, rice, we have the pan, have the fade, blow and much more. Now, the next section is the exaggerate. The exaggerate is an actual element that it's like an animation, but a little bit much more tricky. And now, lastly, the motion effects. The motion effects is how the actual animations should be appearing. The flicker, the rotation and the post. So what you can do is to, for example, say that this balloon do this wiggle all the time during this five seconds of the page. But if I want to move from one side into another, then what I do is to choose the option that says choose. So now I select and drag an element around the canvas to create an animation. For example, this balloon. So here could be my starting point. If this is my starting point, I need to move it from here. So I need to delete the path. I go back. I go from the starting point, And then I go back here to create animation. So now I move this from left, um, from right to left. And you can see that this speed is great. I'm going to try to make this a little bit much um, here. And then what we can do is to make sure that I have the wiggle. So here into the wiggle, you can see that we have this wiggle uh, with the actual animation, the movement that we actually made. So this is how we actually can make the actual animation with the um, elements of the Canva. Now, if I would like to create my own elements, I need to go back here into draw. Here into draw, I'm going to add a new page. Now here into add a new page, I can, let's say, for example, draw like just something like this. Really easy. And uh, once I make my animation, let's say something really easy. What I can do now is to select this element and hit now into group. Once I group this, I can now move my character. So I'm going to try to cut it and paste it into the same animation that we did have. Now what I need to do is to go into my starting point animation and create my animation. So I moved from left to right like this. And there we go. Now, if you want to, you can uh, add some motion effect. For example, this one can rotate, can flicker, can pose, and can wiggle. If you want to remove the animation, just select it and remove the animation as it is. 
So now what I need to do is to hit now and to done. And now I have one animation already been created. Now, if I wanted to implement more elements inside this animation, what I can do is to go here into design. And here into designs, I'm going to try to add something else. For example, this. And as you can see, this animation for this is cool bust, this is an actual video. But if this video works for you, then what you can do is just to delete the elements you don't want to see and add the animations that you have just created. And of course, this is like not the best tool, but since we are just getting started here into the basic creations and you don't want to spend a lot of time animating, I believe the Canva can do something really easy. The last thing that I can suggest to you is to make animation with the designs that were created already. For example, this animation that actually was really easy created by a template. We don't have to do absolutely anything. So if you want to um, change the titles, for example, this M, I can change this for another letter. So I can go here into elements. I can go for an S, for example, go for graphics. And I tried to change this. I double click and I can replace the background if I want to. But in this case, I'm going to just leave this as it is. And there you actually have it, guys. So, as you can see, these are just like basic stuff that you can use here into Canva, basic elements that you can use for the animation of your uh, presentations. Canva does really easy stuff, and of course, different transitions that you can add totally for free and using the different elements depending on what is the actual plan that you currently have. But I believe that we have done really something really easy here into Canva. The last thing that I can totally suggest to you is that if you're trying to do something really specific, is that try to add it here into the template so you can try to find out a template you can use for the animation. For example, I go for computer animation. And I can see that there is a lot of templates of computer that I can use for this kind of animation. So focus into something that you're actually trying to look for and use this template to customize it with the tools that I just show you. So with that being said, guys, we're kind of reaching the very end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. If you find this tour helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share this video, stay tuned to the only media for more relevant tutorials, guys. Until next time.